ऑफ वैल्यू एजुकेशन वार्म वेलकम टू श्री महेंद्र जी काबरा नमस्कार सर आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वी ऑल्सो हैव विद अस डॉक्टर चीनू अग्रवाल रिनाउंड साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड साइकोथेरापिस्ट ट्रस्टी एंड रिसर्च हेड ऑफ हेमा फाउंडेशन एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ फीलिंग माइंड मैम इज एन इंटरनेशनल एफिलिएट ऑफ अमेरिकन साइकोलॉजिकल एसोसिएशन internationally listed act practitioner professional member of acbs worldwide a professional member of iasp and advanced recbt practitioner for adult children and adolescents and trained and certified by albert ellis institute new york usa ma'am is also trained and certified in cbt dbt and mi a diamond leadership coach trained by dr julie diamond and a gottman relationship and parenting coach trained by dr john and dr julie gottman a gottman licensed assessor ic accreditation licensed practitioner for psychometric suite of instruments for career counseling in us uk australia and asia by cpp palo alto usa recently ma'am was also invited to the university of cambridge for a talk on mental health and wellness welcome to you dr chinu agarwal ma'am thank you so much sundar ji and a very warm welcome to you all looking forward to the session thank you ma'am now i would like to welcome shrimati shipra kabra a young investor and philanthropist after completing her studies in commerce is now a partner in woodstock which deals with investments in the stock market shrimati shipra kabra engages actively in regular food distribution for underprivileged kids and also work towards the upliftment of the single mother families of people below the poverty line so welcome to you shipra ma'am who is also the trustee of hema foundation welcome to you shipra ma'am thank you sundar sir uh, i welcome everybody to hema foundation thank you thank you we also have special invitees for the day we have with us dr sarika mohata controller of disha delphi public school kota and disha delphi ddps kota is also the winner of the hem value star excellence award in hemotsav 2023 welcome to you dr sarika ma'am thank you so much sundar sir thank you ma'am thank you thank you we have with us Ms. Kalpana Bhaskar Shimpi, who is the headmistress of Thane Municipal Corporation, School Number Ninety Eight in Thane, and Ma'am is the Ma'am School, that is TMC School Number Ninety Eight, is also the winner of Hem Value Excellence Award in Hemotsav Twenty Twenty Three. Welcome to you, Ms. Kalpana, Ma'am. As we move ahead, we have with us. Ms. Monica Fogad, Director Principal of Paramount School from Sonipat. Ms. Monica, ma'am, welcome to you, ma'am. Ma'am, can you please unmute? May I request you to please unmute? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. it's being a proud moment for me to be a part of this hema foundation thank you thank you very much monica ma'am thank you we have with us now ms neena ketan shukla principal of shri j r shah bright day school from vadodara neena madam welcome to you arvind ji can we please have ms neena ma'am मैम प्लीज आप अनम्यूट कर सकते हैं मैडम यस गुड इवनिंग यस यस गुड इवनिंग मैम वेलकम गुड इवनिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड जस्ट यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग लव फ्रॉम द लास्ट थ्री इयर वेरी वैल्यू बेस्ड प्रोग्राम टुवर्ड्स द चिल्ड्रन एंड टीचर्स सो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच नीना मैम वी नाउ हैव विद अस मिस कीर्ति सचिन बंग कीर्ति सचिन बंग फाउंडर एंड प्रिंसिपल of kids kingdom academy founder and principal of kids kingdom academy uh, welcome to you kirti ma'am 
Kirti ma'am, may I request you to please unmute. Yeah. Yes, yes sir. Thank you very much, sir. Giving me this opportunity to share everything and listen everything from everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kirti ma'am. Thank you for being a part of the program. Uh, may I now request uh, Dr. Chinu Agarwal, ma'am, to guide us and bestow us with the required knowledge on project-based learning as per NEP guidelines for the values of safety and cleanliness. Over to you, Dr. Chinu, ma'am. Thank you so much, Sundarji. Thank you, ma'am. Friends, we are in a very interesting week. 2nd October, Gandhi Jayanti was celebrated as Swachhata Divas and uh, hum logo ko government ne ek uh, project de diya hai khudi jiska naam unhone rakha hai Swachhata Pakhwada 15 days dedicated to Swachhata and interestingly we also have 10th October coming up as the World Mental Health Day so uh, before I begin to interact say something from my side I request you all to give me an idea about this Swachhata Pakhwada and Swachha Kya Bhutan ko Shraddhanjali ke jasa ek word diya hai Can anybody pronounce it for me? Swachhanjali is it? Yes ma'am it is Swachhanjali Swachhanjali you know jaysay hum Shraddhanjali dete hai kisi ko to unho ne bula hai Gandhi ji ko agar dena hai to Swachhanjali di jiye and, uh, you know, because he was the uh, person who was very, very dedicated to clean India. And um, we uh, autobiography, my experiments with truth, maybe So I want some of you to say something about what you are doing for Swachhata Pakwada and cleanliness on your own in your schools. Will somebody like to talk about it? Please raise your hand so Arvindji can uh, highlight you and unmute you. Or you can also tell me if you can speak about it on the message on the chat box. Are you all doing something or not in your schools? Are you doing something चैट में लिख के बताइए मुझे क्लेनलीनेस इन आर प्लेसेस अवेयरनेस इन आर प्लेसेस यू ऑल आर डूइंग समथिंग व्हाट आर यू डूइंग कैन एनीबॉडी टेल मी साक्षी वुड यू लाइक टू टॉक Jyoti, Jyoti is also having Jyoti Chauhan, cleanliness drive in your school. Banashri Valicha, uh, ma'am, you are doing cleaning every Saturday on your school. Shilpa Kulkarni, children are cleaning their own classrooms. Trishila Shah, cleaning the surrounding area of the school. Irfan TMC School, Shramdan for Swachhata. Would you like to tell us about your projects which you are implementing? Cleaning temple area, okay. Posters and spread awareness by moving in the vicinity. Friends, ye jo spreading awareness hai swachhata ke baare mein, how important it is? How important do you think it is? Please tell me in the chat. You know why, why it is important? A few, not very long ago, a few years, of, till few years ago, I myself did not know about the different colored dustbins for Sukha Kachra and Gila Kachra. And we did not know that 
हॉस्पिटल वेस्ट एक अलग से डस्टबिन में डालना जाता है एंड डू यू थिंक कि अभी भी हाउ मेनी पीपल दे डू नॉट नो कि एक्चुअली सूखा कचरा कौन से कलर में डाला जाता है और गीला कचरा कौन से कलर में जा, डाला जाता है लेट एस जस्ट चेक हम में से किस किस को पता है विल यू प्लीज टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स ड्राई वेस्ट हम कौन से कलर के डस्टबिन में डालते हैं और सी uh, अब अभी दो आंसर्स आ गए अलग अलग ड्राई ब्लू वाले में और गीला ब्लू वाले ड्राई इन ब्लू ड्राई इन ग्रीन ब्लू इन वेट अगर मेरे जैसे कोई अनजान है मुझे तो कंफ्यूज कर दिया हमने कि ड्राई किस में डालते हैं और वेट किस में डालते हैं dry blue wet green manaram ji wanted to speak something manaram ji namaste aap kuch bolna cha rahe the mam ye audio is not connected acha acha yes dry in green that can be degraded एंड वेट इन ब्लू फिर किसी ने बोल दिया वेट इन ग्रीन एंड ब्लू पक्के से कौन बताएगा ग्रीन फॉर वेट इट शोज ग्रीनरी एंड ड्राई इन ब्लू देखो आज के वेबिनार से और कुछ पता चले या ना चले इतना तो पता चल ही जाएगा कि कौन सा कचरा कौन से डब्बे में जाएगा एटलीस्ट दिस मच वी विल बी क्लियरली नोइंग दिस इज माय डियर फ्रेंड्स द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट क्लीनलीनेस वेर वी कैन हैव वी हैड अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल स्किट ऑन हेमोत्सव दिस इयर I don't remember which school it was. Sundarji, do you remember? A school had presented a kit on uh, Swachhata on Himotsav. Uh, that was one of the school from Meera Bhaiyendra Municipal Corporation. Yeah, very nicely. Those children had made posters. They had made a nukkar natak, and they had made yes. Cleanliness के कोयम सिखाई स्टूडेंट्स को एक्शन के साथ एंड स्लम एरिया में रहने वाले बच्चों को मोहल्ले में अवेयरनेस के लिए एक्शन सॉन्ग जगह जगह करवाया ड्राई इन ब्लू एंड वेट इन ग्रीन यस सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट डस्टबिन नाउ यस ड्राई इन ब्लू एंड वेट इन ग्रीन इज द करेक्ट डस्टबिन इवन दिस मच नॉलेज दिस मच अवेयरनेस कैन गो अ लॉन्ग वे इन हेल्पिंग प्रिया पाटिल वॉन्ट्स टू से समथिंग प्रिया वी कैन सी योर वीडियो बट वी कैन ओनली सी योर रेज हैंड सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स we have been speaking about cleanliness till now now we want to convert it into projects so while converting it into projects we had two things in mind one is keeping our surroundings clean and one thing that as parents and teachers both are concerned these days is about personal hygiene of students now it is a trend that students do not take a bath for a week are you aware about this trend especially the high school students and graduate students abhi ye trend mein aa gaya hai ki hum to hafte mein ek ek baar nahate hain and i had written a article recently where uh, we spoke about uh, the goblin mode goblin mode is a new trend as teachers are you aware about their lingo their language which they are using and they are doing and they are uh, following are you aware 
कि आप अपनी वो अच्छी वाली दुनिया में जी रहे हो जहां पर हम लोग रोज नहाते हैं रोज अपने रिचुअल्स करते हैं कम आउट एंड सी वॉट दे आर डूइंग अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव लॉस टच विथ देम देर वर्ल्ड देर यूनिवर्स and if we enter into it you will come to know most of them feel why do you think somebody would not take a bath every day any reason comes to your mind please write in the chat they get late to school okay or laziness or carelessness screen time save water hmm or rebellious attitude no reason should be there defiance of parents had bath previous night they say i get this answer it is unproductive it is a sheer wastage of time and resources to take a bath every day such intelligent generation and they are giving us such reasons my dear friends we made a project on personal hygiene also that's why it is time to understand that lectures are not going to work when we tell them roz nahana hi chahiye personal hygiene maintain karni chahiye brush karna chahiye ye karna chahiye wo karna chahiye they are not following it anymore and so what do we need we need some projects some kind of experiential activities some kind of interaction some kind of deliberation some kind of discussion with them where we can have a bc discussion what do you mean by a bc discussion a bc discussion means they have choices of certain behaviors each one of us has choice of behaviors available to us at every point of time for example you have a choice right now to be in this webinar or to do some household work you have a choice to keep your video on in this webinar and focus and concentrate fully or keep the video off and listen to the webinar half heartedly while doing something attending to some phone call or replying to some whatsapp message each one of us has got choices but these choices result into some consequences okay now let us see if we have a particular choice for example as a student i have a choice to engage in my mobile phone to read and study this will also have a consequence this will also have a consequence engaging in the mobile phone all the time or most of the time will it have a different consequence than reading and studying or will it have the same consequence will have a different consequence engaging will lead to lower academic performance and reading and studying is going to lead to higher academic performance okay if we can discuss with children in such terms what happens now let us go to personal hygiene what happens when you engage in habits that lead to personal hygiene and you do it regularly what happens to your health these are the consequences what happens if you do not engage or are irregular what happens if you neglect it altogether 
all these behaviors will have consequences. If you desire the consequence of having a good health physically, of having a clean and neat appearance, of having a professional look, what kind of behavior should you choose? And if you have, and if you want a consequence, which is the second or the third consequence, what kind of behavior should you choose? What happens is we do not do these discussions with the children. We concentrate on controlling their behaviors rather than aligning them with the consequences. Are you with me? Aapko samajh mein aai meri ye baat ya ek bar aur explain karo. Mujhe bataiye chat mein. Aapko samajh mein aai ho to thik hai hum aage badhe nahi to main ek bar aur explain karo. So the first project that we gave to the students is of personal hygiene. Arvind ji, can you show the PPT of personal hygiene? Yes, ma'am. And the second that we gave them was of cleanliness of the environment or the surroundings. In this project, you can, as a school, decide whether you want to have them maintain the cleanliness of the classroom or the school or the ground or somewhere around the community. I'm also going to show a video. First, let me quickly show you the project on personal hygiene. Can you please run the PPT? Mm -hmm. इसको आगे करते जाओ करते जाओ करते जाओ आगे सो दिस इज अ थ्री वीक प्रोजेक्ट नेक्स्ट इन विच फर्स्ट वी डू दिस डिस्कशन जो मैंने अभी आपको सिखाया करना बिहेवियर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस एंड वी Ask them कि आपका हाइजीन का और क्लिनलीनेस का क्या रूटीन है वॉट वर्क फॉर यू लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई हजबेंड वु टेक अ बाथ ट्वाइस इवन इन विंटर्स इफ यू टेल मी टू डू इट आई विल नेवर डू इट सिमिलरली एज हेतर जी जस्ट नाउ सेट इन द चैट सम ऑफ देम से दैट आई हैव अ वॉर्म बाथ इन द इवनिंग आई डो नॉट हैव टाइम इन द मॉर्निंग सो आई हैव अ बाथ इन द इवनिंग so here we are understanding and asking them about their personal hygiene routines and we are having a psychoeducation session with them about the consequences of each behaviors next now we brainstorm with them about different aspects of personal hygiene and ask them open ended questions such as next what are the practices you follow what are the areas that you want to improve what do you think are the important elements of personal hygiene and you can also add your design and add your own questions next and then we write their responses on a board or a chart paper we collect their responses so that we can facilitate the session further by helping them belong to this project ki aap jo bata rahe ho usi se hum project design kar rahe hain it is not a one way instruction or imposition from our side next next slide please then the group discussion next then individual reflection which they do in a worksheet or a checklist in their own diary next after they are helped to evaluate examine their own personal hygiene routine and identify the areas where they would like to work we help them by creating a personalized routine for improving their personal hygiene where they could consider practices such as next please dental hygiene body hygiene hair care 
hand washing, face washing and skin care. Next. Nail care, clean clothes, sunscreen and other aspects which are relevant to their personal needs or cultural practices. Next. Now, after they have had this discussion, maintained their routine, done the practices, then they come up with a short presentation, poster or a written description, and they present it in the class as to how this project helped them to feel better by maintaining a personal hygiene routine. And what is their experience and what do they now feel about it? This presentation will actually encourage them and their other classmates to follow this routine and integrate it into their day-to-day -day life. Please stop sharing. So this was the first project that we did on personal hygiene, which you can do it with your students. Second project we did in the schools and communities. Uh, Arvind, I request you to please share a video of the projects that the schools conducted for the schools and the nearby communities. We have to keep four things. पहला हमें अपने घर और आसपास सफाई रखना है दूसरा हमें वेस्ट अलग-अलग डस्टबिन में कलेक्ट करना है एक में गीला कचरा यानी कि बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट और एक में सूखा कचरा यानी कि नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट लाइक प्लास्टिक इसे हम वेस्ट सेग्रीगेशन भी कहते हैं आई होप अब आप लोग समझ गए होंगे कि आपको क्या करना है यस वेरी गुड तो पूरी सोसाइटी को स्कूल ले जाना चाहिए था कचरा बाहर नहीं गिरेगा हां जब भी कोई कचरा फेंकना हो ना हम दोनों को आवाज लगा देना हम लोग आ जाएंगे हमें तुम्हें समझानी चाहिए थी वो बात तुम बच्चों ने हमें समझाई है आज से हम भी तुम्हारे स्वच्छता अभियान का हिस्सा है और हम ही क्यों पूरी की पूरी सोसाइटी तुम्हारे साथ है हम सब तुम्हारे साथ है
स्वच्छता की जोत लेकर घर घर जाएंगे साफ सुथरी रोशनी में सब नहाएंगे स्वच्छ भारत का इरादा इरादा कर लिया हमने देश से अपनी वादा ये वादा कर लिया हमने हर गली अब उन्नति की राह जाएगी आशा की आंगन आंगन गाएगी स्वप्न गांधी जी का बेटा बाहर करना है स्वच्छता का देश में त्योहार करना है Did you see the projects that were submitted to us last year? The schools which, you know, encouraged their students and conducted these swachhata abhyans not only in the schools but in nearby communities, and they sent these videos, these pictures. They uploaded it on Him Virtues portal, and we were encouraged that if schools can take up these projects and inspire their students the dream of a clean india is not so far away agar hum sab isko mission ki tarah ek torch bearer ki tarah is mashal ko haath mein le le to wo din bahut dur nahi jab ye sapna saakar ho sakta hai to personal hygiene aur community hygiene dono ke liye bachcho ko encourage karne ke liye pehle hum हेमा फाउंडेशन ने जो मूवी बनाई है वो बच्चों को दिखाएंगे उसके ऊपर चर्चा करेंगे उससे रिलेटेड सारे टास्क करेंगे और प्रोजेक्ट करवा कर बच्चों से उसको हेम बच्चों से पोर्टल पर सबमिट भी करें आई होप यू आर ऑल विथ मी टिल फ्योर यस नाउ वी गो टू आर नेक्स्ट वैल्यू दैट इज सेफ्टी So I was telling you about the World Mental Health Day, which is there on tenth October, dear friends. The theme of World Mental Health Day two thousand twenty three is mental health is a universal human right. And three places where they have identified to work on mental health is home. स्कूल एंड वर्क प्लेस हेमा फाउंडेशन का जितना सारा करिकुलम हम लोगों ने बनाया है वो केवल वैल्यू एजुकेशन का करिकुलम ना होकर इमोशनल एजुकेशन का भी करिकुलम है जब हम सेफ्टी की बात कर रहे हैं तो हम डब्ल्यू एच ओ के दिए हुए तीनों प्रिंसिपल्स की इमोशनल सेफ्टी की भी बात कर रहे हैं जहां पर द थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स दे गिव इज प्रोटेक्शन प्रमोशन एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इमोशनल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ एजुकेशन इन स्कूल्स तो सबसे पहले जब हम प्रोटेक्शन कह रहे हैं प्रोटेक्शन का मतलब क्या है प्रोटेक्शन हम किस चीज से करते हैं प्रोटेक्शन करने की क्या जरूरत पड़ती है हमको प्रोटेक्शन किस चीज से किया जाता है प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट बॉक्स फ्रॉम डेंजर्स अराउंड सो आर यू अवेयर अबाउट द डेंजर्स विच आर अराउंड अस एंड आर चिल्ड्रन इन द स्फीयर ऑफ इमोशनल सेफ्टी एस्पेशली पोस्ट पैंडेमिक strangers or negative thoughts exactly vishaka ji stress loneliness or safe and unsafe touch or or kya dangers hai or kya dangers hai where well, the biggest dangers is 
our children do not find a safe place to talk my dear friends wo apni sari suffering chahe wo parents se related ho ghar ke environment se related ho ya school se related ho apne academic stress se related ho apne friendship se related ho jitni bhi unki apni badhaein takleefein hain apne man ke andar hi rakhte hain kyunki unko kahin safe place nahi milti usko ujagar karne ke liye unko outlet nahi milta इसका नतीजा क्या है पता है वॉट इज द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ दिस डिप्रेशन डीमोरलाइजेशन और निगेटिव थॉट्स एंड बिहेवियर्स अग्रेशन फ्रस्ट्रेशन वेरी गुड और लोनलीनेस तो है ही मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज दे स्टार्ट डीवैल्यूइंग देमसेल्व्स दे स्टार्ट फीलिंग डीमोरलाइज्ड एडिक्शंस अ बर्गेनियोइंग प्रॉब्लम इन आवर सोसाइटी लैक ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन सुसाइड्स स्लीप डिप्राइवेशन अवॉइडेंस फीलिंग ऑफ वर्थलेसनेस ये सब को बचाने के लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा वॉट इज इट दैट वी विल हैव टू थिंक एंड डू एनी आइडियाज एनी आइडियाज फॉर दिस कम्युनिकेट विद देम टॉकिंग विद देम क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस मोटिवेटिंग देम गिव देम एन एनवायरमेंट वेर दे फील वॉन्टेड make them aware about their own emotions buddy teachers counseling ye sab to khair hai so friends we have made a project on emotional safety first so could you arvind ji please show it the project on emotional safety yes ma'am and then after emotional safety one more area of safety that i am going to talk to you about is cyber safety i am sure that so many of you are concerned about this as well nahi ye nahi isse pehle woh ppt chala ye jo abhi chala rahe the ye uske baad chalayenge go to emotional safety isko sabko run kar dijiye fatafat please run it isko pure project ko run kar dijiye aage this is the project on school and community cleanliness that we have made which they can read afterwards and then it will be followed by the worksheets please run them also then you'll come to emotional safety Yes. इसका इसको एक स्लाइड आगे करें आगे सो फर्स्ट द अगेन द सेफ्टी मूवी इज शोन एंड देन मेनी डिस्कशन विल कम आउट आफ्टर दे हैव वॉच द मूवी एंड वन ऑफ द डिस्कशन दैट वी वुड लाइक यू टू फेसिलिटेट विद देम इज इमोशनल सेफ्टी कैन वी गो अड so here the project is divided into three parts 
in the first part, we help them, next slide please, to identify the signs when they feel they are in an emotionally unsafe situation. So there are three things. One is their feelings, the other is their body sensations, and the third is their behaviors. So feelings are how they feel. Are they feeling sad, hurt, anxious, confused? Sometimes the feelings are not verbalized. So they might say that we body in heaviness chest or headache or tingling sensation feel. And the most obvious thing is their behavior. So we see they are crying, they are not eating properly or they are fighting or they are not wanting to go to school. So we know that there is something that they are feeling to be unsafe. In the next part of the project, next, next. And in the second part, we help them to prepare their own coping toolbox. Agar aisa raha, aisa aapko feel ho raha hai, to aapko kya karna chahiye? Uske liye hum unko, unke feelings ko or what they are going through, usko likhna sikhate hai, unko ek journal ya diary maintain karna sikhate hai. And, we, we, and then we help them to identify who are the trusted people with whom they can talk who can give them a safe listening ear. That is the third part of the project. Please go to the third part. So, unko parents, teachers, siblings, or friends may say, char logo ke naam or phone number likkar apne coping toolbox mein rakhna hai where they trust ki agar mere saath aisa hua to main mummy se zarur baat kar sakta hon ya main apni is uncle se baat kar sakta hon ya main अपने इस फ्रेंड से बात कर सकता हूं या मैं अपनी इस टीचर से बात कर सकता हूं एंड देयर इज नो हेजिटेशन दैट आई शुड फील व्हाइल टॉकिंग टू देम दे विल कीप माय थिंग्स कॉन्फिडेंशियल दे विल नॉट शेयर इट विद एनीवन एंड दे विल सपोर्ट मी एंड दे विल हेल्प मी टू डिसाइड व्हाट शुड आई डू इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन so this is the project of emotional safety. We have provided coping toolbox ka ek pura kaise coping toolbox banta hai, uska ek guidance ka worksheet humne usme provide kiya hai. Aur saath mein identifying emotions ke liye bhi humne ek worksheet prepare kari hai, jo aapko help karne ke liye, reference ke liye hai. Iske alawa jo second project hai, wo hai cyber safety ka. Uh, stop screen kariye. देखिए हमारे बच्चे जिस तरह से स्क्रीन यूज कर रहे हैं हम लोगों को सबको आजकल इस बात की चिंता है कि दे आर नॉट सेफ इन द वर्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट हाउ कैन वी हेल्प देम टू कीप देमसेल्व्स सेफ उसके लिए हम एक ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट उनसे करवाएंगे जहां पर वी विल फॉर्म ग्रुप्स एंड देन वी विल हेल्प देम कि आप एक रिसर्च करके आइए और बताइए कि साइबर डेंजर्स कौन से कौन से हैं कौन से सिचुएशंस में हमको क्या करना चाहिए कौन से पॉइंट्स हैं जिनको हमको अपने ध्यान में रखना चाहिए टू कीप आरसेल्फ सेफ ऑन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंटरनेट नाउ कैन यू शो दैट पीपीटी क्विकली अरविंद जी सो वन ऑफ द डेंजर्स इन साइबर safety is cyber bullying so here are some tips that we give to the students and we ask them to prepare a presentation keeping these points in mind next please chalate jaiye slides chalate jaiye so first is how can you be kind and respectful towards others when you are on the internet इंटरनेट पे भी हमें अपने मैनर्स और कर्टेसी नहीं भूलनी है चाहे हम किसी से सोशल मीडिया पर चैट कर रहे हैं या फेसबुक पर कमेंट्स कर रहे हैं या हम इंस्टाग्राम पर उनके फोटोग्राफ्स को के ऊपर कोई कॉम्प्लीमेंट दे रहे हैं हाउ शुड वी मेंटेन हेल्दी बाउंड्रीज व्हाइल बीइंग काइंड एंड रिस्पेक्टफुल नेक्स्ट 
थिंकिंग बिफोर यू पोस्टिंग कई बार हम बिल्कुल ही इम्पल्सिव होकर कोई भी चीज फॉरवर्ड कर देते हैं ये सोचते हुए कि अगर हमको इतनी अच्छी लगी तो दूसरों को भी अच्छी लगेगी अगर हमको ये जानकारी यूजफुल लगी तो दूसरों को भी लगेगी नॉट नोइंग दैट इट कूड इवन हर्ट और ह्यूमिलियट सम और at least it will spam someone's mobile and they might or may, might not be interested in this information so helping children to understand that they have to think pause before they post next keeping personal information private my dear friends please stop sharing so many children become a party to cyber crime or a victim of cyber crime because the post or their parents post unnecessary details about them on the internet how can we help children to differentiate between what to post and what not to post on the internet and what is the objective of posting things on internet that can also be converted into a project Arvind ji now can you go to the previous ppt please quickly so that i can show them the both the uh, projects i have already shown you emotional safety cyber bullying cyber safety ke liye bhi humne ek project banaya jisme humne ek puri worksheet banayi hai jahan par hum bachcho ki help karna chahte hain to help them brainstorm and then maybe make presentations not only for their own class but for their junior classes as well and we can even hold poster competitions or presentation competitions elocution competitions on this subject in your school aage pura aage kar dijiye run it ha ye wala ye wala ye wala ek minute और ऊपर एक और स्लाइड ऊपर सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन द वीक वन दे विल डिस्कस एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज साइबर बुलिंग एंड हाउ इट कैन हैपन ऑन द इंटरनेट देन इन द सेकंड वीक प्लीज रन टेक मी टू द सेकंड स्लाइड दे विल डू द रिसर्च एंड कम अप विद वेज हाउ कैन दे प्रिवेंट इट इन द क्लासरूम देन इन द थर्ड दे विल मेक द presentation or the poster presentation in their classroom and outside their classroom jo aapke school mein corridors rehte hain wahan par ye posters laga sakte hain assembly mein hum is point ko take up kar sakte hain hum students ke panel discussions kara sakte hain debates kara sakte hain elocution competitions kara sakte hain so that each and every student in the school becomes aware about what is cyber bullying and how can they keep themselves safe my dear friends these are only two of the concerns that i have taken in the projects but safety ko lekar aur bhi bahut sare concerns hai can you please stop screen sharing arvind ji jaise ki chote bachcho ko physical safety ke liye bhi hame bahut sari cheeze batane ki zarurat hai whether it is the harms of screen time gadgets how they are unsafe for their eyes how earphones can be unsafe for their ears how it uh, you know pehle hum sochte the ki matches uh, aur aag ki safety bas bachcho ke liye ek safety uh, sikhane ka tool hai but now we have so many other things एक पूरा का पूरा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बना है आपको जानकर ताजुब होगा जो इसी चीज के लिए काम कर रहा है हाउ टू प्रिवेंट फैटल फॉल्स वाइल यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन्स आज हमारे पास टाइम की कमी है नहीं तो मैं आपको वो वीडियो दिखाती जिसमें वो लोग बताते हैं कि कैसे मोबाइल से लोग सड़कों के गड्ढों में गिर जाते हैं कैसे वो इलेक्ट्रिक तारों पर गिर जाते हैं कैसे वो छत पे से गिर जाते हैं दे आर नॉट अवेयर एट ऑल अबाउट द डेंजर सो हाउ कैन वी हेल्प देम टू वॉक माइंडफुली ईट माइंडफुली एंड टू कीप देम सेल्फ फिजिकली सेफ एज वेल 
और केवल साइबर बुलिंग ही नहीं हमारी एक मूवी है दगड़ू जिसमें हम एक्चुअल बुलिंग के लिए भी बच्चों को अवेयर करते हैं जो एक बहुत ही बड़ा प्रॉब्लम स्कूल्स में बच्चों के साथ होता है कि सारे सेफ्टी के पॉइंट्स पर आप लेकर और अपनी तरफ से भी प्रोजेक्ट्स क्रिएट करके हमें भेज सकते हैं हमारे ये प्रोजेक्ट्स के बारे में इनको इम्प्लीमेंट करने के बाद आपकी जो भी फीडबैक है वो हमें जरूर बताइए आप इन प्रोजेक्ट्स को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के बाद इनको अपलोड करना ना भूलिए क्योंकि अगर आप अपने स्कूल ने आपके स्कूल ने जो कुछ किया हम तक नहीं पहुंचाएंगे तो हेमोत्सव के बाद में जब हम इवेल्युएशन करेंगे तो आप पीछे रह जाएंगे हमने इसके लिए पूरा एक सिस्टम बनाया हुआ है जो आपको निरंतर हम मेल पर भेजते भी रहते हैं और अब हम दोबारा भी भेज देंगे ये प्रोजेक्ट ये पीपीटी जो भी मैंने आपको दिखाई है हमारे पोर्टल पर अवेलेबल हैं आप जाकर वहाँ इनको एक्सेस कर सकते हैं इनको देख सकते हैं और कोई भी डिफिकल्टी हो तो आप हमें लिख सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर चीनू मैम फॉर टेकिंग अस फ्रॉम हेल्पिंग अस अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट गॉबलिन मोड टू टेकिंग टू हेल्पिंग अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू ऑलवेज बी ऑन दी अलर्ट मोड सो दिस वे यू ब्यूटीफुली कवर द टॉपिक ऑफ बोथ क्लीनलीनेस एज वेल एज दी सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम वी जस्ट कॉर एन इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट टूडे अवर चीफ गेस्ट इज अनेबल टू अटेंड द प्रोग्राम बींग एन आई पी एस ऑफिसर ही हैज एन अर्जेंट मीट एंड ही इज अनेबल टू अटेंड द प्रोग्राम टूडे सो सिंसियर अपॉलॉजीज फ्रॉम आवर साइड टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओवर हियर uh may i now request uh, arvind ji to please uh, play a short video uh, by our advisory board member uh, also uh, head of department of psychology of gurukul kangri deemed to be university of haridwar professor rakesh kumar jain ji a very short video by professor rakesh kumar jain ji for all the participants over here please hema foundation is doing an exceptional work in the area of value education by inculcating human values in young children through movies various activities and preparing the educators by conducting workshops webinars various programs i would like to express my deepest gratitude to the trustees all the persons associated with hema foundation and all the participants for taking up this mission and specifically bhai ji for working in this area and taking up this novel cause of transforming the society by touching millions of lives within a short period of time we see phenomenal growth in the activities of hema foundation thank you very much so our gratitude to professor rakesh kumar jain ji from gurukul kangri deemed to be university a university with which hema foundation is associated and all the educators who are present over here at the end of the year for completing the project as well as for submitting the mcqs in your teachers portal uh, post that there will be an evaluation and then subsequently you all will be provided with the value educator certificate which is certified by hema foundation as well as gurukul kangri vishwavidyalay for all those institutes which is outside maharashtra and for institutes that are based in maharashtra the certificate will be jointly certified by uh, tilak maharashtra vidyapeeth as well as hema foundation so gratitude to professor rakesh kumar jain ji from that note uh, may i now uh, invite uh, shrimati shipra kabra trustee of hema foundation to please uh, share her word of thanks shipra kabra ma'am Ma'am, can you please unmute Shipra, ma'am? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, namaskar to all the guests, special invitees, and educators attending the webinar by Hema Foundation. Through this thought-provoking session by Dr. Chinu Agarwal, ma'am, we got to witness how project-based learning can encourage students to engage in activity, in active learning, uh, critical thinking, collaboration, and problem solving. project based learning can contribute to uh, improvising behavior and fostering responsibility in students dr chinu agarwal ma'am explained the same so well 
efforts of this nature actually empowers all the educators to take forward this ready to use module and implement the same effectively in schools like last year we did a project with meera bhinder municipal corporation and more than 10000 10200 schools uh, students participated in this cleaning drive from over 120 schools this year more weightage will be given to schools doing exemplary work in value education through project based learning and completion the grade wise learning module which has been designed in accordance with nep and ncrt i also take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the other special invitees thank you so much everybody arvindya vande matram ಮಾತರ ಮಾತರ 